Hey, welcome back to the channel. So after my recent Galaxy Watch review, a lot of people asked me what apps I use on my watch. So that's what this video is all about. And here are my top five best Android apps for the Galaxy Watch. So a lot of these apps you may have heard people talk about in other videos, but the last app is one that I found that I have not seen a whole lot about. So make sure you stick around for that. As I'm going through these, if I don't mention your favorite app, leave that down in the comment section so we can all learn from each other. And also I'll have links to everything that I talk about in this video. And with that out of the way, let's get into the first app. So up first is the voice memo app. And this is just, as it says, it's a real simple voice memo. You can record, you can play back, and it does text to speech, which it does it really accurately. When you turn that option on in the settings, you can choose that uh, language that it's gonna detect. And then when you go into the app, you can record a memo or go in and list all the memos that you've recorded recently and play those back right on the watch. Really easy really efficient and I use this all the time. Next up is camera one and this does require a companion app to be loaded on your phone and what it does is allow you to see a live feed of your rear camera on your watch and you can right from your watch take pictures and take video. There's additional features that are available with the app if you pay for the premium uh, features but what I do with this app just with the free version is I use it a lot when I need to see behind something when I'm hooking up a computer or work around the house I can just position my phone and see back behind it really easily when I'm reaching around plugging in cables. It works great. I haven't really had a need for those additional features. Uh, so just in its basic form, this is a really useful app. Next up is Facer. And this is actually a pretty big one because with the Samsung watches, including the Galaxy Watch, you get access to a ton of watch faces. But what Facer does is open up a whole new level and give you access to hundreds and hundreds more some of them cost money, some of them are free, but you can find a watch face for any occasion. And what it does is it just kind of embeds itself. You go and switch to the Facer watch face just like you would for any other watch face. Select it, the one that you want on your phone and you're off and running. It's even got hooks into things like your step and you know whatever counters you have. You can see weather, just a whole ton of information on some of these watch faces. And this is a definite must if you are somebody that likes to try out all these different faces and get tons of information on one screen on your watch. Next up is the SmartThings app. And this is kind of specific for people that have the Samsung SmartThings hub, like I do, and a bunch of devices hooked to it. But this lets you access your scenes, your devices, your automations, all from your wrist. You can navigate to any of those settings, turn your devices on and off, trigger your scenes, all from your wrist without having to pull the phone out of your pocket. It works really well, really reliable, and I absolutely love this app. The last app on the list is for the guitarist that also loves technology, and it's called Guitaro. This is a chord database of over 300 chords right on your wrist, and the layout is ingenious. There's two rings. There's an outer ring that has all the notes, and then an inner ring that has all the chords for that note. And the way you navigate through it is you rotate the bezel clockwise to select the note you want and then rotate it counterclockwise to rotate that inner ring to select the chord that you want and it shows you all the fingering and the layout. It's amazing how much data is in this app and I use this all the time if you get chord progressions from the internet and it's been a while and you can't remember the fingering for a chord, you can just look right on your wrist and there it is. I absolutely love this app and I haven't seen a lot of people talk about it, so definitely wanted to include it on my top five list. So that wraps up my top five best apps for the Galaxy Watch. You may have a different list and if you do, please leave those down below so we can all check those out. I'd love to check some additional apps out. If you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Come see me on Tuesdays for Tutorial Tuesday and every Sunday for a new tech video. And I will see you in the next video.